ABC 26 Live at 5. A suspect is on the loose tonight following a hit and run that killed a Green Bay man. It happened last night on the 1400 block of Main Street in Green Bay. The driver left the scene after hitting 52 year old Daryl Waka. Waka later passed away in the hospital. Tonight, police continue to look for the suspect and the car. Deandra Corinthios has our big story at 5. Police are chasing down leads tonight. They have released photos of the suspect's car and are trying to piece together exactly what happened. Meanwhile, residents who live near the scene of the crash say they're uneasy after a hit and run happened in their neighborhood. The intersection at Main and Baird shows no signs of the hit and run now, but the deadly crash is still on Helen Stacy's mind. She lives less than a block away from where it happened. It makes me worry that it could happen to me or some of my friends. This is a picture of the car police say was involved in the accident. Police say the car is likely a white or silver Pontiac Grand Am made between 1999 and 2005. Police say the car was heading west on Main Street when it hit 52-year-old Daryl Waka of Green Bay. Here's a recent picture of Waka taken from the Wisconsin Department of Corrections sex offender website. Police say they don't know if the crash was intentional because they've not yet identified a suspect, but they are working on leads. We have pieces of evidence that were left at the scene that we're kind of tr we're working to develop leads on. Uh, in addition, we have witnesses that stopped um, and we're working with them. Accident reconstruction crews found pieces of the car's left side mirror at the scene. Crews haven't yet determined how fast the car was traveling when it hit Waka. Residents like Stacy hope police catch the person responsible. I think it's sick that he wouldn't just turn himself in because, I mean, since he ran, he's going to get even more punishment. Now, police are relying on the public's help in this investigation. If you think you saw the car or have any other valuable information that might help, contact the Green Bay Police Department. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.